Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, I'm gonna share with you this um, note setup that I made using Spreadjock add-on. Basically, the notes allows you to read the image pixel. Currently, I only have like eight by eight pixels image right here, and it's uh, just black and white. And based on this black and white value, uh, we are able to kind of do the control the particle uh, or fluid emission. Uh, basically, the inflow you can see is doing the four emission there, and then it's gonna do the three and three, and then four, and then another four, and then it's just continue and uh, doing the fluid emission. So that's a uh, that's actually what this guy, uh, this pixel is doing on the fluid. If you don't believe me, I can actually create another one, create another image. Um, let's call it simple and this is gonna be 8 by 8 pixel and okay so this another 8 by 8 I will do a quick paint it's gonna be a radius of 1 string of maximum strength so let's see if this is actually working So just random, yeah, random pixel, and then image save as sample, save it on the desktop, and this time we're gonna get the sample and then update it. So file save. I might need to do the fluid baking. So select the domain once again, and then do the baking. So the idea is, of course. Um, it's reading the pixel, right? It, in Spreadshock, you can use object ID selector and select the image and just specify you want the pixel. And then from that, you can do the splitting and get the color RGBA. And you can check the length. The length is actually uh, 64. And from there, we're gonna split. We can split the the data from RGBA. Um, here I'm just actually use the red value split it eight times because we have eight row and eight columns so basically we want to check the the row so we have eight and we want to read it line by line so for each line it's gonna represent our fluid emission of some sort um, so yeah basically from that um, I'm here I'm using the frame and the integer division basically if, uh, I want to keep the value for five frames that's why I have this integer division set to five and from that it's gonna be controlling the the index uh, it's telling Spreadshock nodes to pick um, the data based on this value so it's gonna grab uh, the first data index zero for five frames and then the next one and the next one until it's finished so let's have a look sometimes there is a little bit of bug I found but uh, so far it seems to be doing pretty well see two one and then this it, it goes from the bottom and so it's doing that doing that one and then three and it's gonna keep on emitting the fluid it's kind of neat I think uh, because uh, this is kind of setup that you might have seen um, in a in a car exhibition or something uh, they do this kind of um, they use this kind of setup uh, of course it's more elaborate it's not like 8 by 8 pixel maybe they have like 100 row uh, I don't know how many columns but it allows you to kind of draw drop particles or light emitting LED or sometimes actually real water and they are controlling the water so that uh, when it drops it actually draw something so so far this is still kind of a, a proof of concept it's not yet uh, a working like 100% but uh, it's kind of interesting it's uh, I will be using blender fluid for now because it's a uh, it's what blender has 
but blender flip fluid might give you like a much more high res and more precise uh, looking water like more um, and it's gonna give you a better look maybe but sometimes blender fluid is enough so yeah that's the whole idea uh, this this uh, image right here you, you just need to be aware of the row and the column so if you for example if you create a new image and then you set it to okay width 8 maybe the height you want to set it to 20 it's gonna be a little bit more interesting right 8 20 so we got we, we, we're gonna have 20 and here you can actually start making some drawing I don't know if this is actually gonna work I have not tested so save as this is sample 2 and here I will grab a sample number 2 this is okay this sample 2 file save as to be honest this doesn't need to be fluid but the fluid uh, we can control the inflow and modifier uh, this is the inflow on and off that's why we can control the whole uh, the whole thing this way so if you have this kind of drawing yeah and then select the fluid and bake it again let's bake it a bit longer it might work I'm not sure uh, sometimes increasing the resolution doesn't mean it's gonna look much better actually small resolution is sometimes fine so you might see there's a slight issue there so it seems to be dropping one and then dropping two and then one two three four five six one two but you you might notice there's this one is doing a weird thing so that's the bug that's the bug that i was talking about not sure what's causing it but um i might need to check maybe there's a value that's not correct here the way i split the value and yeah this eight number of eight is probably uh, the column or the row uh, it's actually the column right this eight and uh, the row is the one that's keep running and being controlled by the frame um, anyhow you can see it's still kind of work there's one weird leaking fluid inflow there not sure why it happens time to times but other than that the fluid is really it's working you know it's, do, it's following this almost like um, if you're um, if you have like um, like the music kind of editor um, you get this kind of um, you can edit this kind of thing and on and off I don't know how to explain it but this is almost like a music and the, the whole idea here is that I want to make um, some kind of procedural music that can trigger something in blender and then put together it's become an animation so yeah it's, it might be interesting uh, we will see so there you go hopefully you'll find this useful let me know what you think and I'll see you next time thank you bye